TFNN. Headline news update. Hi, everyone. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, coming up straight off to this TFNN update. Here we go. This is noontime. The Dow's down 360 points at 25,606. Hit the 25,517 level this morning when you consider that just uh, on the 23rd of April, we were at 26,695. This is a pretty serious drop. And what we're looking at also is that the weekly chart has gone under the 14-period exponential moving average. We're waiting for this whole tariff news. I'm not sure it's going to be resolved all in one split second at midnight. My thinking is that there's going to be a real uh, a give and take. And part of it is that China has to give something. But they might include a bunch of tariffs that we weren't expecting that could be a little problem here. But oversold, look at the volatility index. The VIX index has screamed up to the uh, 2338 level, trading now down uh, from that high, still up $1.85 at 2125. If you look historically, we've had these big spikes to the upside. I would suggest to you that we're getting pretty close to some kind of a, a reversal in the market, but it might just be a short term reversal. Look at the S&P. The S&P right now is down. It is down. 32 points at 28.46. It's just started to fill that gap that was made on that big push to the upside on the 1st of April with a low of 28.67. Today's low is 28.36. So it's gone right into that gap. The QQQ, the NDX 100, is down uh, 2.65 at 183.10. Looks a little bit better uh, than the others. But we might just be seeing a slow rollover because a lot of those tech, tech stocks are, are very um, over, were overbought. We'll see what happens here. This is very important. Uh, go, uh, the um, gold is up five. Let's see how if it's able to break this very long term downtrend line and get to the 20. Um, so the 12. Yeah, let's call it the 1295 area. Right now it's at 1286. And the dollar is holding pretty well. Um, well, it was holding pretty well. Now it's down 28 pips at 97.34. Still pretty good considering that it is in the 97s uh, with gold holding steady. Anyway, what we are looking at is that the IWM has been um, holding a little bit better than the others. It's down 1.61 at 155.15, right on the 200 period moving average trying to bounce. I'll do a lot more of this as we get into my program coming up straight after these messages. Later on, there's Steve Rhodes. Dave White, Tom O'Brien, have a great day. Otherwise, I'll see you in a few minutes for my show.